Hello everyone, welcome back to Ham Radio Concepts. I am Eric KJ for YZI. And in this video, we're gonna finish up this little micro series on all the Rig Expert antenna analyzers that Rig Expert makes. Thank you Gigaparts for sending every one of their models to me so I can check them all out. Stuff like this, the AA1500 Zoom, and the other ones, AA2000 Zoom, AA35, the non-Zoom versions. But let's say you don't wanna invest in something this advanced or a little more costly, or let's say you just need something for quick tests. You don't want to buy something that does all this stuff, but you want something to get a, a, a fine idea on what your antenna is doing when you're building it or deploying it in the field. These little stick units by Rig Expert are a lot more convenient and portable and, and did do a lot for an analyzer, okay? And this is the Stick 230 and the Stick Pro. Now, there's a couple differences, and I've checked the Stick 230 out in the previous uh, lifetime of my videos, probably about two years ago. I checked this out and played around with it. They're a little more basic with a smaller screen than something like this, but at less than half the price, okay? So we're gonna talk about both the Stick 230 and the Stick Pro right now on Ham Radio Concepts. So these analyzers right here are, as you can see, I'll take them out. They're, they're cute, that's the word for it, okay? And uh, they do come with a lanyard strap, a uh, rig expert lanyard strap. The, uh, the USB cable, why do they come with a USB cable? Because they are all able to be mapped, all your plots and stuff on the computer. But there is a difference between the Stick 230 and the Stick Pro as far as TDR and computer functionality. I'll tell you that in a second. So they would come with what you expect, but the Stick Pro comes with an end connector with it. Why? Because in a nutshell, the Stick 230 will do pretty much DC to 230 megahertz. The Stick Pro will do all the way up to 600 megahertz. And that's why they have an end connector on the Stick Pro, but they give you an adapter end to SO239. Now this one only has a SO239 on it. So typically an end connector has lower loss at higher frequencies. So that's why you would have an end connector on something that does higher frequencies. So right here, look at the size difference, right? AA1500 zoom, which is the one I want. I want this one, I wanna get one of these. But look at the comparison of the stick. A lot smaller, right? A lot smaller. Now, when you're looking at this, the difference immediately would be that the Stick 230 has a white e-paper display, whereas the Stick Pro has a color display. Um, I'm not a big fan of the e-paper display as you would see on this like this. You can't tell when it's on or off or it, that was, you remember the e-readers that came out, Amazon e-books, you know, the tablets, and they, they came out with those. And although it's, it's nice to look at in all the light levels, um, it, it's definitely not my thing, okay? But it's totally usable. That's just, to, you know, you always say, well, what's not your thing, Eric? Why do you always say positive? Negative, I would not want that wide screen, but it's totally usable and some people may not care. And at a lesser price than the Pro, maybe that suits you just fine. So when you pull the stick tops off, see, here's where you connect the antennas. So basically, you put the antenna on and away you go. You can go in, the battery is built in. They each use a 18650 rechargeable battery that's inside. They can recharge, be recharged with uh, USB. In fact, here's the port on the bottom, USB-C to charge that, okay? And you can put the lanyard on and keep it around your neck so that you don't drop it. You know, I, I, I don't sometimes like people just borrowing everything of mine because then it gets broken or dropped or scratched or whatever. Um, okay, so <clears throat> looking at these, Main features, okay? Color screen on the Pro, not a color screen, white e-paper. 600 megahertz range on the Pro, 230 megahertz on the uh, Stick 230. And that's not necessarily a bad thing. Maybe you don't even do VHF, UHF. Maybe you just want something for HF like this. The TDR functionality, and this thing came off and I hope I can get it back on. Let's see, that's bothering me. There we go. The TDR functionality exists in both However, it's only built in on the Stick Pro. The Stick 230, you have to use the computer software from Rig Expert with the USB cable on the computer to get the TDR functionality. So some people may not use that. What is a time domain reflectometer? That's for checking coax. Let's say you got 300 feet going up a tower or you have you know, 100 feet going out to your antenna outside. You don't, you don't know where that high SWR is coming from or impedance mismatch. It could be a bad barrel on a cable that you barrel together, which is a no-no, I'm kidding. It could be at, the end, at the, 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 you know, the end of the antenna. So what that does is it maps your antenna with the velocity factor, your cable rather, 
with the velocity factor and everything else and tells you exactly where the anomaly would be in your feed line, okay? So good thing to have. If you want that in the device that's built in here, it's the Pro. If you don't care and you wanna use it with a laptop once in a while, that's the 230, but they both can do it. Multi SWR, now if you've seen on these videos in my playlist, the Multi SWR, that's cool because you can check 10, 12, 20, 40, and 80, all at the same time, five lines on a, on, on a chart here. You can do Multi SWR on the Stick Pro. So the Rig Expert Stick Pro, okay? Gives you a couple things here, single SWR, multi SWR. By the way, both of these have Bluetooth on them. Both of these can be used via Bluetooth and that could be a whole separate video between the software or Bluetooth connection to your PC um, via laptop or however you have a Bluetooth dongle, you can connect to this remotely with Bluetooth, okay? So you have a couple options here. Let's go to single, so you hit the minus. That's going to be a single, I don't have an antenna connected at the moment, a single, shot in real time of the frequency 14.175 in the 20 meter band at uh, and your SWR, all right? And ret return loss as well. And you can go left and right and you can see five different pages here. So there's your phase and your, your inductance, your capacitance, you know, reactance, uh, impedance, okay? Uh, all that stuff here. Or just SWR. If you wanna change the frequency, hit minus. You can go down in frequency or, okay, set frequency. So you hit the plus here and you can go plus or minus. Let's go 20, eight, 500 for right there. Now you have your frequency here, okay? Now if I go back to uh, free, so we go right button. Now you can do a, um, a chart here of your SWR that I could check on a graph to see exactly you know, what my SWR looks like on a graph where it dips, you know, where you have your resonant point and stuff like that. All right, so you get the idea, right? You go here to uh, multi SWR, you hit plus, and that's gonna scan, it's gonna tell you all your resonant points on the antenna. Now, I don't have nothing connected now, but it would tell you, it, it'll pop up three resonant points found, 12, 17, 20, you know, wherever, and you can go through and look and see exactly where the dip is on those bands. So you get the idea with this, hitting the red button takes you back to the menu. If you go to ham, oh, hold on, ham. Okay, now you can go by ham band, 20 meters, 17 meters, 15, 12, 10, 11 to 10, all the way up to UHF, 70 centimeters. Now, if I look at the stick 230, okay, you, it looks like it's on right now, it's not. You gotta hold the button, you're on kind of resembles what the Stick Pro would look like up here with the single, the multi, the ham. If you click on ham here, give you, um, you know, the different ham bands here, if you want to check them, 40. Now, both of these have like a vibrating sensor or vibrating uh, thing in here, okay? If you're hitting it, bzz, 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 like you're texting on an iPhone, you know, it vibrates every time you touch the screen. That's kind of what's happening here, so you can tell when you make a change. But essentially, if you look at the screen, I think this one is not the, not for, for me, I don't think. Okay, single parameters at single frequency. You can do multi, auto scan bands for resonance, SWR chart at amateur bands, or at a custom range, basically free, free frequency. Where do you wanna pick? And adjust user settings, okay? Very basic, but I think between both of these, um, a little more, clunky for, dis for, for maneuvering on a little screen. If you're visually impaired, not for you. Uh, if you're looking for something quick that will be very effective self-calibrating, this will do that. So it does serve a purpose, it is well. I wanna have the AA1500 zoom because I can do a lot more on here. Now can you use the software on this to do Smith chart and stuff? Sure. Um, do both of them have essentially the same battery life? I would say that the paper display e-paper display is going to have a little bit better battery range or performance over time than the color display will. But um, you can see if I go back to the main menu, okay, both have Bluetooth, both are very effective. One has more frequency range than the other and um, you can make your own choice. Okay, this about wraps up the Rig Expert series. I'm going to tell you, uh, Gigaparts did send everything, all these to me. I didn't check out the AA2000. It's about redundant like the AA600 non-zoom and AA1400. 
And it looks kind of like this, but it does up to 2000 megahertz. But you get the idea. This is the one I want, the AA1500 zoom. But these are very effective and cost effective as well for the Stick Pro and the Stick 230. The best thing about this is Gigaparts, I, I always tell them, I, I want something for my viewers to, to benefit from. So rather than just tell them to go to your site, give them something. 5% off on any Rig Expert analyzer that you buy on their site. Click the link below. Use the code at the top of the page that says Ham Radio Concepts, and anything you buy from Gigaparts will give you 5% off just because you saw it here on this video. And I appreciate that because Gigaparts um, are my friends. They really are. I'm not, this, this, this is a friendship here, okay? And, and those guys are great. I see them all the time. And they help me out a lot when I want to check out some stuff, and they send me stuff to check out. So I just want them to help you out, save you some money. Just like they sent me this. Brand new Sun SDR2 Pro, and I have the Sun SDR2DX. This one's brand new, never even opened. Right, like, Eric, check those out, play with them. Maybe you guys are going to discount those too. I'm not sure. But 7 3, everyone, thanks for watching. This wraps up the Rig Expert Analyzer series. I'm going to ship these all back now. But in the meantime, stay tuned. There's more videos on the way. I am KJ4YZI, and I say 7 3.